Hello folks, this is the question of uh, May June 2007 and the question number is uh, 4. It says that an ideal transformer has uh, 5000 turns on its uh, primary coil that means uh, n primary is equal to 5000. It, uh, it is to be used to convert a main supply of 230 volt RMS. So we have got uh, E primary is equal to 230 volt and this is RMS to an already voltage having a peak value of 9 volt so we have a secondary voltage is E secondary that's equal to 9 volt but this is peak value so if you have to compare these things we have to convert either this thing to peak value or, uh, or uh, this thing to uh, to uh, our <laughs> RMS value so what I can do is let me convert this thing so this will be equal to uh, we know that the relationship between RMS value and uh, uh, peak value is somewhat like this. So uh, let us let me write it here. So E uh, RMS will be equal to E peak by root 2. So that means uh, E peak is equal to or E RMS is equal to uh, something like this. So we can do it like this. So this E peak will be equal to root 2 into E RMS. So this will be equal to root 2 into 230 volt and the value will be equal to so let me use uh, our calculator here so the value will be value will be value will be uh, the value will be will be will be so I have the calculator here so it is it is it is uh, 2 uh, 2 uh, into 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 230 will be equal to it is 325 volts so it is 325 volts now it will be good for comparing this thing with this thing so I have n secondary by n primary is equal to e secondary by e primary so or n secondary is equal to e s by e p into n p equal to it is a 9 divided uh, e p is a 325 into this n primary is 5000 so the value will be equal to equal to uh, <coughs> equal to uh, so 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 the value will be equal to it is 138 so it is 138.3 i can say it as 138 only so the value of number of turns in the secondary is 138 now the next question is regarding a full wave rectifier. So we have a bridge rectifier here, uh, part of the circuit. So now we have to uh, show, show. Uh, we have to draw diode symbols to complete the diagram of a rectifier such that terminal A of the resistor R is positive. So I have to make this as positive and this as negative. Now, what happens here is in a rectifier, what happens is. Uh, if the resistor is positive, if the resistor is positive, so if uh, this thing is uh, positive like this, if this is positive, current should be flowing here. Current should be flowing here. That means here I must have, I must have the inside of the diode, inside of the diode in this direction. If current is flowing in this direction, I should have inside, and this should have, this uh, should side should have the p side. So that's why, if it is plus here, if it is plus here, I must have. What I must have is so here I, I must have the inside of the diode so that means inside here inside here so it should be it should be it should be so what uh, I must have is uh, a positive so 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 I must have like this like this like this and like this and again if I do like this so this is uh, like this like this like this like this then 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 if it is like this then it should also be like this it should be like this and and, and uh, it should be like this because all the diodes should point to the same direction so they should be pointing to the left here so let me put the connection properly 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 uh, properly like this so this should be the direction of the diodes now i have to uh, in the second question i have to use a symbol for the capacitor connected to provide smoothing of the pd bit across the resistor so if I use a capacitor, then I must use the capacitor like this across the resistor. Resistor. So when the charges are deposited, this becomes positive and this becomes negative. So this also finished.
Now, in the next question, what I have is, what I have is, figure 4.2 uh, shows the variation with time t after smoothed PD, uh, PD across the resistor. So we have a discharging here, charging here, discharging here, and so on. State the interval of time during which the capacity is being charged. So we have to we have to show that uh, time interval where it is being charged. So it's being charged here, being charged here, and being charged here. But here no time frame is given. Here no time frame is given. Here it is given. So it is from time t1 to, to, to time t2. So charging here. Now in the second question, <coughs> the resistance of the resistor is doubled. So that means see here, uh, here I have this resistance is doubled here double here now what it says is on figure 4.2 sketch the variation with mt of the pd across the resistor so if r is double if r is double one thing that we have to remember is the time constant of the capacitor so the time constant of the capacitor is t equal to c into r so is the discharging time constant so that means if r increases the time constant also increases that means the time required for discharging increases so that means what happens now is it charges here and uh, during discharge that occurs very very slowly that occurs slowly like this or that occurs slowly 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 like this so that means the graph will now be somewhat like this and somewhat like uh, this and so on so this means that now we'll have a less ripple factor the peak voltage is the same but the ripple factor will be will be will be will be will be lesser than before so this should be the nature of the graph so let me draw it like this like this like this and from like from here like this and from here from here like this so this should be the nature of the graph for this question